Article 8, Judicial Department, Section 1. The judicial power shall be vested in one Supreme Court and its such lower courts as may be established by law. Judicial power includes the duty of the courts of justice to settle actual controversies involving rights which are legally demandable and enforceable and to determine whether or not there has been a grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction on the part of any branch or instrumentality of the government. 2. The Congress shall have the power to define, prescribe, and apportion the jurisdiction of the various courts but may not deprive the Supreme Court of its jurisdiction over cases enumerated in Section 5 hereof. No law shall be passed reorganizing the judiciary when it undermines the security of tenure of its members. Section 3. The judiciary shall enjoy fiscal autonomy. Appropriations for the judiciary may not be reduced by the legislature below the amount appropriated for the previous year and, after approval, shall be automatically and regularly released. 4. 1. The Supreme Court shall be composed of a Chief Justice and 14 Associate Justices. It may sit and bank or, in its discretion, in division of 3, 5, or 7 members. Any vacancy shall be filled within 90 days from the occurrence thereof. 2. All cases involving the constitutionality of a treaty, international or executive agreement or law, which shall be heard by the Supreme Court and bank, and all other cases which under the rules of court are required to be heard and bank, including those involving the constitutionality, application or operation of presidential decrees, proclamations, orders, instructions, ordinances, and other regulations, shall be decided with the concurrence of a majority of the members who actually took part in the deliberations on the issues in the case and voted thereon. 3. Cases or matters heard by a division shall be decided or resolved with the concurrence of a majority of the members who actually took part in the deliberations on the issues in the case and voted thereon, and in no case without the concurrence of at least three of such members. When the required number is not obtained, the case shall be decided in bank, provided that no doctrine or principle of law laid down by the court in a decision rendered in bank or in division may be modified or reversed except by the court sitting in bank. 5. A Supreme Court shall have the following powers. 1. Exercise original jurisdiction over cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, and over petitions for certiorari, prohibition, mandamus, co-warranto, and habeas corpus. 2. Review, revise, reverse, modify, or affirm on appeal or certiorari, as the law or the rules of court may provide, final judgments and orders of lower courts in a. All cases in which the constitutionality or validity of any treaty, international or executive agreement, law, presidential decree, proclamation, order, instruction, ordinance, or regulation is in question. b. All cases involving the legality of any tax, impost, assessment, or toll, or any penalty imposed in relation thereto. c. All cases in which the jurisdiction of any lower court is an issue. d. All criminal cases in which the penalty imposed is reclusion perpetua or higher. e. All cases in which only an error or question of law is involved. 3. Assign temporarily judges of lower courts to other stations as public interest may require. Such temporary assignment shall not exceed six months without the consent of the judge concerned. 4. Order a change of venue or place of trial to avoid a miscarriage of justice. 5. Promulgate rules concerning the protection and enforcement of constitutional rights, leading practice and procedure in all courts, the admission to the practice of law, the integrated bar, and legal assistance to the underprivileged. Such rules shall provide a simplified and inexpensive procedure for the speedy disposition of cases, shall be uniform for all courts of the same grade, and shall not diminish, increase, or modify substantive rights. Rules of procedure of special courts and quasi-judicial bodies shall remain effective unless disapproved by the Supreme Court. 6. Appoint all officials and employees of the judiciary in accordance with the civil service law. 6. The Supreme Court shall have administrative supervision over all courts and the personnel thereof. 7. 1. No person shall be appointed member of the Supreme Court or any lower collegiate court unless he is a natural-born citizen of the Philippines. A member of the Supreme Court must be at least 40 years of age and must have been for 15 years or more a judge of a lower court or engaged in the practice of law in the Philippines. 2. The Congress shall prescribe the qualifications of judges of lower courts 
but no person may be appointed judge thereof unless he is a citizen of the Philippines and a member of the Philippine Bar. 3. A member of the judiciary must be a person of proven competence, integrity, probity, and independence. 8. 1. A judicial and bar council is hereby created under the supervision of the Supreme Court composed of the Chief Justice as ex official chairman, a secretary of justice, and a representative of the Congress as ex official members, a representative of the integrated bar, a professor of law, a retired member of the Supreme Court, and a representative of the private sector. 2. The regular members of the Council shall be appointed by the President for a term of four years with the consent of the Commission on Appointments. Of the members first appointed, the representative of the integrated bar shall serve for four years, the professor of law for three years, the retired justice for two years, and the representative of the private sector for one year. 3. The clerk of the Supreme Court shall be the secretary, ex officio of the Council, and shall keep a record of its proceedings. 4. The regular members of the Council shall receive such emoluments as may be determined by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court shall provide in its annual budget the appropriations for the Council. 5. The Council shall have the principal function of recommending appointees to the judiciary. It may exercise such other functions and duties as the Supreme Court may assign to it. 9. The members of the Supreme Court and judges of the lower courts shall be appointed by the President from a list of at least three nominees prepared by the Judicial and Bar Council for every vacancy. Such appointments need no confirmation. For the lower courts, the President shall issue the appointments within 90 days from the submission of the list. 10. The salary of the Chief Justice and of the Associate Justices of the Supreme Court and of judges of lower courts shall be fixed by law. During their continuance in office, their salary shall not be decreased. 11. The members of the Supreme Court and judges of lower courts shall hold office during good behavior until they reach the age of 70 years or become incapacitated to discharge the duties of their office. The Supreme Court and bank shall have the power to discipline judges of lower courts or order their dismissal by a vote of a majority of the members who actually took part in the deliberations and the issues in the case and voted thereon. 12. The members of the Supreme Court and of other courts established by law shall not be designated to any agency performing quasi-judicial or administrative functions. 13. The conclusions of the Supreme Court in any case submitted to it for decision in bank or in division shall be reached in consultation before the case is assigned to a member for the writing of the opinion of the court. A certification to this effect signed by the Chief Justice shall be issued and a copy thereof attached to the record of the case and served upon the parties. Any members who took no part or dissented or abstained from a decision or resolution must take the reason therefore. The same requirements shall be observed by all lower collegiate courts. 14. No decision shall be rendered by any court without expressing therein clearly and distinctly the facts and the law on which it is based. No petition for review or motion for reconsideration of the decision of the court shall be refused due course or denied without stating the legal basis, therefore. 15. 1. All cases or matters filed after the effectivity of this constitution must be decided or resolved within 24 months from the date of submission for the Supreme Court, and unless reduced by the Supreme Court, 12 months for all lower collegiate courts and 3 months for all other lower courts. 2. A case or matter shall be deemed submitted for decision or resolution upon the filing of the last pleading, brief, or memorandum required by the rules of court or by the court itself. 3. Upon the expiration of the corresponding period, a certification to this effect signed by the Chief Justice or the presiding judge shall forthwith be issued and a copy thereof attached to the record of the case or matter and served upon the parties. The certification shall state why a decision or resolution has not been rendered or issued within said period. 4. Despite the expiration of the applicable mandatory period, the court, without prejudice to such responsibility as may have been incurred in consequence thereof, shall decide or resolve the case or matter submitted thereto for determination without further delay. 16. The Supreme Court shall, within 30 days from the opening of each regular session of the Congress, submit to the President and the Congress an annual report on the operations and activities of the judiciary.